What is currently happening programs? Today I'm going to cover every detail from the Facebook Connect 7 keynote including Quest 2 and Facebook's Aria AR glasses. So if you want to get a face full of private data in futuristic fashion then stay locked, enjoy and I hope it helps. Zuck started by overviewing the entire keynote while reading from a screen and holding his breath. Facebook Reality Labs. Lab, lab, labs. Labs. And that's because labs, labs. And then went on to inspire the world with awkward. I've definitely been playing a lot more with, with friends recently. So neural interfaces. So that's what the whole fields of virtual and augmented reality are about. Before demonstrating equality in his organization by beating Boz, the vice president of AR and VR at Facebook, two out of two at Echo VR, which was a bit of a wank. All before Boz outlined the importance of the people in Facebook's innovation pipeline. By the people. For the people. The Quest 2 was announced officially and it's basically a $50 cheaper Quest 1 with the same field of view, but it has 50% more pixels at almost 2K per eye resolution, a single fast switch LCD screen, comes in the opposite colour only and has comfort quality cuts like a cheap elastic strap and a budget 3 step lens shift IPD system in favour of improvements like a more powerful XR2 processor which will help run games and apps and better handle link and wireless streaming. And all this is tied together with a lovely mandatory Facebook login that was explained by Zuck. Come here, grab the fucking nut. Yeah, I mean, the, grab the nut. Pull the flipping goddamn thing off. Positive aspects of the Quest 2 were directly compared to the Rift S to make the Rift S sound not so stellar before we found out later that the Rift S will be discontinued next year. So Quest is king and starting at $299 with the fuck that head strap and that's that. Portal, Facebook's video conferencing system now has support for some more popular video conferencing apps. Horizon which lets you hang out in digital spaces with friends gotta mention and Venues which does the same thing but with events will be coming out of beta which I'm pretty sure things are supposed to do anyway. You'll be able to use Facebook Messenger on Quest. There's a new Oculus Avatars SDK to improve the Oculus Avatars we have currently. And there's a new challenges feature where you can arrange your own tournaments and set challenges for groups of players to complete. AR Tryon comes to Facebook shops so you can see what things look like on you or in your personal space before you purchase on Facebook's online store. And a collaboration with the Smithsonian lets you put a Triceratops on your kitchen counter which sounds like Facebook listened to that very specific request I made while I was drunk as fuck and firing off emails into the ether. Over 35 titles on the Quest platform have made over a million dollars since launch where Onward made a million in four days and Five Nights at Freddy's made a million in eight days. More games are coming to Quest including Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell games from Ubisoft. Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy Edge which takes place on the outskirts of the Black Spire outpost on Bateau and puts you face to face with Yoda, R2-D2, C-3PO and more. Population 1, a cross-platform VR battle royale with a fully interactive world, Beat Saber multiplayer and a new BTS music pack in November, The Rock climbing VR game, The Climb 2, Jurassic World Aftermath brings cell shaded toe-tapping raptors so you can shit your pants in VR, Warhammer 40k battle sister which looks pretty damn average, Pistol Whipped 2089 is a gritty cinematic sci-fi expansion set off-world, Mist is coming to VR to make sure you spend the rest of your life solving unsolvable puzzles, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners which is horribly good on PC VR, and Sniper Elite VR. Quest 2 will launch in Japan and have Japanese developer titles like Kazuna Ai, Res Infinite, Space Channel 5 VR kind of funky newsflash, Little Witch Academia, Alt Deus and Puzzle Bobble VR. Medal of Honor Above and Beyond will feature online multiplayer crossplay and come to Rift and Steam VR, thus playable on Quest using Oculus Link or equivalent, as will Lone Echo 2. Remote working due to COVID-19 was acknowledged, including the joys of being able to have lunch with your family every day and the challenges. 
like having lunch with your family every day. Infinite Office is basically Oculus Dash with pinned windows that can be attached to real world objects and stay there in persistence. A physical keyboard that you'll be able to see in VR thanks to a partnership with Logitech for those that can't touch type and it enables people in different physical locations to see and work together on the same project. Over to AR and Facebook's Aria Glasses platform, Michael Abrash, the chief scientist at Facebook Reality Labs Research, ran us through the optimistic AR and VR popularity graph and gave us a glimpse of future in the longer term. Project Aria is an AR research tool that has sensors to visualize the outside world, two cameras to track your gaze, seven directional microphones, and is built to utilize EMG, aka electromyography in a wristband, which is a hand tracking solution that measures brain signals in the wrist instead of traditional sensor and camera tracking technology to track your hands. And it features a virtual nipple squeeze demo. More importantly though, it can do things like guesstimate virtual fingers for people who don't have actual fingers. There's tech to mute out background noises when things are loud and you're trying to talk on the phone, well, talk on the glass with other people. It'll sync multiple sets of AR glasses together so that when you are looking at someone else with synced AR glasses, their voice will be clear and in focus even in a crowded space. Made even more realistic with directional sound and holograms of the people you were speaking with placed right in your augmented space. Live mapping builds a digital copy of the real world by collecting data from multiple connected devices in real time to let AR glasses understand and modify your digital world and personalize your AR experience. Basically real world recording with pop-ups and other objects. It is important to mention that ARIA glasses won't be for sale specifically. This is a research tool to build the tech to power AR glasses made by companies like Luxottica, who own Ray-Ban. And that's it for this video. And if you did like this video, then crush that like button, have your say in the comments below and hit the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.